All right. So, D led. D led. Yeah, we we did a very poor job of of executing. We we had way too many penalties and put us in a lot of bad get back on track situations and clearly never got in a rhythm after that. So, you know, we got to go. I don't want to overreact until we go back and see the tape. You know, I thought the the first ball coming out of AJ's hand, we ripped it to Tajay um, on one of those early third downs, and you know we got a penalty for for being too far in the back legal formation tackle being too far in the backfield. Those are self-inflicted wounds, and we got to do. I got to do a better job of coaching us because those that's the stuff that's going to get you beat. And clearly tonight, we're not in a rhythm there. And uh, the play of the offensive line throughout, Yeah. Uh, again, you know, we got ourselves. You got to give the Titans credit. They, you know, they we felt they knocked us back a few times, and then we got back and get back on track situations and. They did a nice job pushing the pocket, running their stunts and some of their pressures. And again, I don't want to overact. Do I go in and look at the film and uh, give you a clear picture of what happened and why, why they, why, you know, why that some of those games and some of those pressures were effective for them? And defensively, um, up front, Davidson looked like he had a good game. Uh, Etheridge had a lot of tackles, and uh, Jalen Hawkins played uh, good on the back end. Like. Yeah, I thought uh, defensively, I thought we were very physical. You could feel those guys out there. It was good to see Marlon have some success. Uh, a lot of those guys, you, you, could, you could hear the pads popping. Uh, that was encouraging. And again, we, did, you know, they did a nice job and they stepped up. And offensively, like I said, you get behind. We're in poor field position. We had the, the uh, sudden change there on the interception. And I thought the defense did a nice job tonight. We, we got to do a better job. Clearly, um, we can't put them in that many situa- bad situations. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's not to make excuses. I mean, we got to see what, what what happened. But clearly, when you know, a lot of those were after earned first downs, and then you go immediately, you're back, get, try to get back on track. So, um, again, we got to do a better job. I got to do a better job getting these guys ready, these young guys ready to roll. So, uh, we'll, we'll have a good challenge. Uh, again, it's try not to overreact. It's, a, it's the preseason. Yeah, but we got to play cleaner, and uh, this will be a really good test for us down in Miami this week, going and practicing down there and playing, see if we can make some improvements. Just following up on some of your decisions, you said you were waiting until game time, but uh, some of the decisions on who to play, who to sure. play, especially on rookie like that. How difficult a call was that? Well, it wasn't too difficult. Uh, like I said earlier in the week, we feel like he's right on schedule. Wanted him to go through the routine of getting to the stadium, going through the warm-ups. Um, we'll see, As a, like I said, this week is going to be big for him. Going down to Miami, it's a very aggressive uh, and very talented secondary. But uh, like I said, Kyle was right on, right on schedule. And if we felt that he was behind, probably would have put him out there. Well, it was good. He got, you know, kind of got his feet wet, and so uh, we got to look at it. See, you know, see how he how he finished, how you know how, how his technique was as the, as the, war, the half wore on, um, and I got to go back and look at the, you know, the penalty. Obviously, those are critical errors on, on a third down. You know, you convert and then you, put, you get pushed back on off the penalty, and so again, I don't want to overreact until I see it. But at the end of the day, they called it, so I guess it is what it is there. Well, you know, he's he's done a nice job. Him and Earl both have, um, and so is Emmanuel. I, I think that there's been – I've been very pleased with the inside linebacker room. Uh, Dion, Foyer, and Michael Walker, but those other three guys, Emmanuel, uh, Earl, and Dorian. You could feel Dorian tonight. He made a couple plays. Uh, and Earl, I thought, was pretty physical too. And so, you know, it's it's exciting to see some of those young guys. I thought that defensively those guys, those guys stepped up, and I'm excited about what they do. We just got to do a better job getting into these games down in Miami and see if we can improve. You know, you can't overreact. It's the preseason. Um, but these young guys need to play, and that's what we wanted to see. And I mean, clearly it wasn't good enough. But that's the good news is we get, to, we get another day of practice, and, it, and it, thankfully those games don't count because that's probably pretty ugly for you guys to watch. Allison. 
Yeah, a uh, couple factors. Uh, we got to make roster decisions uh, by Tuesday. And then we felt where we're at with the camp and where some of our players are at. We feel like these joint practices are one of the biggest things coming up for us down there in Miami. Um, a lot of factors. You know, it, it'll be interesting to look around the league, what everybody's doing. You know, I saw some people played them. Uh, you know, obviously the Titans didn't. They played some of the back end defensive starters, but their entire offense wasn't out there and uh, some of their front guys. But, you know, everybody's kind of trying to navigate the new preseason, 17 game season, and you got to do, we got to make the best decision we think is best for our team, and we felt that right now. So then we'll see how this week goes and then whether we need to get them cranked up down in Miami. Michael, uh, I took the away from the record. What's up? I said I took the away from the Oh, no, no worries. Uh, they went, I, I got to go see from Jake. I know he went in, so I, I don't want to give you a, a bad information. Sure. Yeah, no. I, you know, a little bit was matchup. You know, I think they got a pretty good young player, uh, Tier Tart, and a lot of us match up. And, and Josh has had a good camp, but we wanted to see him in there and play against those guys. And like I said, it, it, it's um, it's a credit to the Titans. We never never get on track, never got in a rhythm in the run game. So, uh, like I said, a lot of lot of long yarded situations. And then you got to say, hey, and that's the good thing. At least it was a preseason, so it probably forced a couple more runs. Situationally, he really wouldn't have called. But I felt we needed to. I mean, we just didn't get enough snaps. Right. Right. Sure. Yeah, I mean, like I said, thankfully those don't go in the record books. But, uh, yeah, we didn't do enough to help AJ. Um, you know, you get out of rhythm. You know, I don't want to overreact. You know, he, he got hit, you know, a few times too. Uh, you know, when you saw Felipe come in, you know, the, the thing is, that, you know, AJ, the operation was a little cleaner, but obviously there was no results behind that just because of the entire picture of the, of the offense in the first half. Uh, and I'm not saying that. I mean, again, you got to give the Titans credit there defensively. Second half, you know, Felipe, young guy, you know, we want to be a little better operationally, but what Felipe clearly showed is he, he can extend plays. And so that was good to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I just, you know, defensively, you know, you could feel Ade, I, you know, go back, and, and I and I don't want to give you a snap judgment until I, I see the whole thing, but uh, you could you could feel some of those guys. I mean, I, I thought you, you said the, the defensive line, I thought the inside linebackers, all those guys, we could feel, uh, and that was encouraging. Yeah, he's had a good camp, and so it was good. You know, he, you know, he was a guy in that this kind of second year sophomore class that didn't get get the preseason or off season last year, and, and obviously he played, and so did so did Hawkins. So, um, it, it's those these reps, these game reps are important to him as as we get into the evaluation and how we piece together, you know, the fifty three. Can I ask you about your uh, first game emotions? Not only is it your first game with the Falcons, but I saw you exchanging some hugs, some hugs there with some Tennessee players. Sure, you know you you spend a lot of time, um, spend a lot of time with those guys. Uh, wish them well. Obviously, you got to give them the credit. Uh, we, we came out and didn't execute, but it, it was great to see those guys. Good to see them before. And like I said, wish them well. But uh, you know, I'm focused on the Falcons and, and you know getting this team better and see what we can go down and improve and and take another step next week. Yeah, I mean, they were physical. Now we we gotta we, we can't give up the return. Uh, I thought you know a couple times we, you know, operationally the, the biggest logistical challenge you have in the preseason is on your special teams. Who's up? Who's down? You're gonna play a guy a quarter. Okay, he comes down. Who's the next backup? And so, 
you know, that's I, I, I give the special teams coaches a lot of credit around the league. The preseason is, is, a, is a bear for those guys. And I thought the guys were flying around. It was good to see Avery and Roe. I thought they, you know, they tried to hit those things. We wanted to get returns tonight. And that's what we asked Cam to do. And we wanted to cover kicks. So it'd be really hard to evaluate, you know, Cam on a couple of those because he was doing what we asked him to do. Because uh, D-Light, you asked me that question the other day, and we wanted to see guys cover. So I, I saw some guys. I thought we had some good, good uh, guys covering down like Gunner. Um, uh, you know, I thought you could feel Avery. I thought we were playing special. We, we, we can be cleaner. Yeah, um, you know, that's a tough job. It's like a backup quarterback because you are that swing tackle, and he's gotten a lot of reps lately at right tackle. But going in, and we thought it was fair to let Jalen play right, didn't want to move Jalen. And then if Willie's going to be the swing tackle or ends up being the right tackle, he's got to go over there and be able to do that in a pinch. And so we gave him reps in practice the last couple of days to get him ready. But that's a tough job. But that, that is the job of the, of the swing tackle. Um, I, I thought he did all right. I, I just I, I got to see, you know, what – what happened? You know, a lot of times the protection calls, you're sliding a certain way, where they sent the games, the communication inside. Um, you know, a lot of times you ask tackles, they get beat inside, and, you know, you may have the slide on that way, they're expecting help. So, but everybody in the stadium says, hey, maybe that was a tackle. So the, those are things that why I don't want to overreact. Uh, but Willie's had a, had a nice camp. Well, he's, you know, we've always thought, and probably why he was drafted here, he probably flashed as a as a pass rusher. I mean, that was kind of was the, you know, his his trait coming out. But I'm proud of Marlon. As Marlon's been able to grind through some things, you know, he he dealt with a lot last year, and he's kind of grinded through this camp. And it's good to see him have some success. We want to make sure, you know, obviously in the line of scrimmage, how physical we playing against the run, and then and then you know, earn some reps to go after run, to rush the uh, quarterback in obvious pass situations. And I thought Marlon did that tonight. Time for a few more stories. With cut downs coming up, I, I can't remember if we cut any of the trees, like, but with cut downs coming up, how much does the game weigh in versus how much training weigh? Uh, it's, they're all, it's all part of it. I mean, obviously, you know, when it comes to tackling, uh, the special teams, you know the protect. I mean, it, it, the games help. I mean, that's what you want to see them do. I mean, it's the it's the best thing you can do to evaluate. But you also got to take in. I mean, a lot of these guys are going for the first time. I mean, there, there, there are a lot of nerves in there, and uh, you don't again you don't want to overreact on some of these guys. Uh, we got to take the whole picture. Thank you. All.